hello everyone welcome to this video tutorial in this video we will see how we will insert some data into the table that we just created from Python of course so in the last video we saw how we created the connection and then using that connection we created a cursor and then executed an SQL statement so basically basically we just created this table over there so now we'll try and insert some data into this table first of all this is not a very nice way of writing code let's just restructure some of it i'll use try catch and accept block first of all i'll try if i'm able to create a connection great if i'm not i need to handle the exception so i'll create an accept exception as error and over here i'll print error while creating the connection and I'll just pass on the error message here next if say I was able to create the connection I want to know what connection it is so then I'll just print the connection dot version in the else block and at the end finally what I'll do is I'll close off the connection and the cursor. So I'll do cursor.close and connection.close. Now, as we know, the finally script will always get executed. The except block will be executed if an error has, ex has been raised in the try block and the else block will be executed if no error has been raised. I have created a detailed video on how you can make the best use of try except else and finally close. Please do check it out. So next, what I want, I did was I created a connection, but I will create a connection only if my try or my connection was, if my try block went successful, that means I have a connection then I'll go on and create a cursor for that connection so in the else block I'll create another try block where I'll say cursor is equal to connection dot cursor so here basically I just created a cursor now this SQL script to create table will no longer be needed instead I'll be using an insert statement to insert the data but just let's keep it blank as of now once we have got the insert statement we'll execute the insert statement here and then if all is well i'll just print it print that in the insert is done but if i got an error and i'll say error exception as error and i'll just say over here print error while inserting the data and I'll just print the error message also here if say the there was no error raised I'll just say print insert completed and at the end there's nothing I don't need a finally block in here so this will work yep so instead of an SQL create let me change the variable name to SQL insert and let's create an insert statement so a table was something like this so the table that we had was this first name last name company and age so let me go back to the code base over here and let us insert uh, CEOs some CEOs details so let me say insert into CEO details table and as I am putting data for all the four columns I don't need to mention the column names I'll just say insert into CEO details values and here the data that I want to pass in so first is first name let's insert a data for Steve Jobs so Steve Jobs have worked for Apple and sadly he passed away at the age of just 56 so done it will just 
do a cursor.sql sql insert and then yep if the execute is insert is done then it will just do an insert complete but here i would like to commit the connection because without committing the connection it won't show me the data just let's execute this query and see so i just did a right click and execute this query in the terminal so it is trying to execute it it will first create a connection and if everything went fine then it will go and do the insert so it gave us the version then it said insert completed so if we hop on to a sql server and run this select star from co details we should be able to see the details yep here it is steve jobs work for apple died at the age of 56 so sad so this way we have just tried in a very good way created the connection in a try block if all went fine well to the else block printed the connection version and then we created a cursor and wrote and took a variable and just had a insert statement over here you can also you could have passed this insert statement here itself but then if the insert is too complicated it would have been messy you could have done it here as well over here just put it inside quotes and it would have worked fine and then we just committed the things changes that we did so this is a simple way of inserting a data using the execute method in the next video we'll try and insert multiple records and we'll try and use bind variables to do the same so if you enjoyed this please join me in my next video this is Kishan signing off thank you